System one loaded. Hello Geeksers, here we are at Supernova 2015. Uh, it's very exciting. Uh, Damien, so many great guests coming this year. Who are you looking forward to mostly? The one, the only Nathan Fillion oh. here at Supernova. Yes, Nathan Fillion, so awesome, so exciting. It's, it's great. Uh, he's a, a god amongst men. He is, he definitely is, and a captain to the man as well. <laughs> True. There's, there's so many great uh, actors, uh, voice actors coming this year. Um, so it's, it's going to be a great uh, weekend. It is, like, the talent here this year is just amazing. So many big names compared to last year. Yeah, and some of these costumes uh, that are here today are uh, just awesome. Just a whole new level of spectacular. Yeah. So uh, let's uh, head in and check it out. Here we are at Supernova and I have with me Luke. Luke, and Luke, who are you dressed up as today? Um, the Pink Ranger. <laughs> yes, obviously. obviously. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. awesome. Um, how many years have you been dressing up as the White Ranger? I only got this in September last year, which I bought in January, but I've been wanting to get one for that much for so long, but they are expensive and a long wait, so... Can I ask uh, how much you spent on your awesome outfit and, and like was the helmet the most expensive part? All in one thing. Okay. Um, yep. The helmets by themselves, this one from where I got it from by itself it's around 400 -y. But um, the whole suit, considering it's all handmade and this part and the sword as well, yep. which was 12 but then about a month after I got it the guy changed all his prices and it was 1260 so, but for what it is, it's because it's the boots. It's all custom made to your size. So, oh, awesome! And uh, so you got it online. Where, whereabouts? Aniki. Aniki cosplay. So A N I K I. Um, find him on Facebook. Uh, did you see the yeah, black and red ranger? Yeah, and I saw them when they were here for Brisbane last year. Okay. I went to Brisbane just for that. I went to Melbourne just to meet JDF this year. Yeah. So, yeah. Awesome. How was it? Oh, they made, well, <laughs> what happened was, because um, he, in Melbourne, he didn't realise how big a turnout he was going to get. And when he had his photos, and he said, oh, I wish I bought a helmet or something. And I was getting something signed for a friend who wasn't there. And he said to me, because all us Ranger guys, he like, because we were there a lot, he got to know us a bit. And he said, oh, can, can I um, borrow your helmet for my photos? I'll sign you something for free. He goes, pick a photo. I bought my turbo yeah. movie dvd i said all right <laughs> i was well prepared yeah and then he's like can i borrow your helmet and um then i said do you want the sword as well and yeah. he did his photos they came back gave it to me and the assistant the volunteer working with him it's like you just made a lot of kids very happy I said you just made a 29 year old kid very happy <laughs> Hello Geeksters and today we are here with I'm the Night Forest Guard and what are you from? I'm my own creation. Your own creation and what inspired your creation? Uh, a few different things, mostly Studio Ghibli, the Kikiri from Ocarina of Time and a bit of Narnia thrown in. Oh yeah, interesting. And is this your first time at Supernova? This is not my first time at Supernova, I'd come one year before. One year before? And Dressed up the same as last year or? No, last year I was Eren Jaeger from Attack on Titan where I made my own 3D maneuver gear. Wow, so uh, you gonna be changing your outfit for next year or same one? Next year I'm either gonna refine this further but I'll have to rebuild it. I, I'm thinking maybe doing full leather armor or I'm just gonna do something completely different but I'm not sure what yet. And how long did this take you to make? 
Oh, in about hours, it probably took a full day, 24 hours, but it was spread out over several weeks. Probably took about as much time just on the stick, but that's because you have to wait for the paint and the sealant to dry, everything like that. And if there's anything you could change about this outfit, what would it be? The boots, oh good god. <laughs> the footwear, neck, whatever I make next, you gotta have practical footwear. I've been three days on brand new boots trying to break them in. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you for your time, and I hope you had a great time at Supernova. Yeah, not a problem, thanks for having me. came out and told my mom she really needs to get an agent and so I met with an agent and started doing um, commercials and then when I was seven I started doing voiceover work um, and then when I was 18 and I graduated from high school I got an audition from my agent to audition for a company called Funimation and they said we work on a lot of anime and I said well I don't know how you can because anime is Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball and Pokemon and those are all dubbed. I'm watching them. Um, and then I found out there were so many different shows and so many different sub-genres and all these things and so I was kind of hooked that way. I went to my first anime convention uh, to promote the first show I worked on called Peach Girl and uh, I was hooked. I loved anime conventions. I was like, these are my people. Everyone's so accepting. I never want to leave. And so, thank goodness they keep letting me come back and work on more stuff because I love it. Here we are at Supernova, and I have standing in next to me... Ryan. Uh, Ryan, tell me, uh, why exactly did you come to Supernova today? You came out for um, uh, Nancy Cartwright, is that? Yeah. And, and she's not here. Yeah, then she How does that make you feel? Uh, I felt fine. I think the Supernova lady that told me felt worse than me. <laughs> Cause she was she pretty crushed? She apologized about three times. She was like, sorry. And I was like, oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, she just, did, did I think you? she thought that I was going to break down crying or something. That's kind of, she was like babying me kind of thing. And I was just like, all right, I'm fine. So uh, anyone else that you're interested in seeing today? Uh, I, I didn't see them. They're all past. I want to see Nathan Fillion, but he's not here today. I'm only here he's today. doing his talk tomorrow. Yeah, and yesterday. Yeah, yesterday. He did it with Adam yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. And I missed Adam as well. 
Are, you, wanna, are you coming tomorrow or today's your only day? Just today. You know, but I was wanting to see Billy West and uh, Dimaggio. You there. missed that as well, yeah. I missed that. all of it. I just missed Yeah. It. Caught the tail end of the Power Rangers guys and... Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks for talking with me. Thanks, Ryan. Nice, nice meeting you. What was your name? <laughs> uh, Michael. Oh, nice meeting you, Michael. All right, so uh, that was Ryan at Supernova. Hello, Gigsters. Today we are here with the one, the only, the amazing Peter Park. Wait, nope, sorry. I mean, amazing Spider Man. Oh, nearly gave it away. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm in trouble. So, you are, of course, the amazing Spider Man, yes? Of course, I am. I am the amazing, beautiful, best Spider Man. You kind of show yourself there, aren't you? Oh, yeah, I am. A little bit maybe egotistical? Yeah, I think Spider Man is a little bit egotistical. See, Spider Man speaks on himself in the third person as well. It's like another superhero that we know of. <laughs> My good friend, Deadpool, who is around here somewhere? Good friends, you say. So tell us, is this your first year dressing up at Supernova? This is my first year dressing up at Supernova. Fun fact, I bought this wall suit yesterday when I came to Supernova. Yesterday? So this is actually the first time you've worn this? Yeah. Right now is the first time you've worn this outfit. We are the first people to interview the amazing Spider-Man in his first new outfit. Hey guys, here we are at the third day. We're right at the end of the day. Uh, it's been a massive supernova, uh, 2015. Damien, what was uh, your highlight for this weekend? I, I think everyone could say that highlight of supernova was definitely Nathan Fillion. Yes, Nathan Fillion. Oh, he's so good. Uh, I just went to his talk a couple hours ago. Uh, very awesome, yeah, very awesome. It's actually so full that everyone was standing up. Yeah, I had to stand up for it, but it was worth it. Uh, we also saw uh, a few other uh, actors and voice actors. Yeah, um, Shamay Lee. Uh, we had Billy West, John DiMaggio from yep, Futurama. From Fut Futurama. Um, uh, also Adam Baldwin from uh, Firefly. Yep. And Chuck. Uh, he was awesome as well. Uh, we had Veronica Taylor and Eric Stewart. Ah, you guys Pokemon. Yes, Ash. Yes, uh, Brock, Ash, Green. Ash. It's me. Yeah. Yeah, uh, uh, the English version of uh, you was here. Look, it's it's <laughs> it's kind of cold, so I put my jumper on. I'm sorry. Yeah, the weather's kind of <laughs> the end of Supernova with us. So. Yeah, it's been a pretty horrible day, but who cares? It's been a great yeah. day. Uh, it's been a great weekend, and I'm already looking forward to next year Supernova. Um, I'm sad that this one's over. I'm not looking forward to the lack of money, but <laughs> yeah, uh, it was quite okay. expensive, but uh, it was totally worth it. Um, totally. So, shall we? Uh, Head home or? Go back and say our goodbyes to Supernova yeah. this year. Wait for him to kick us out? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Yeah. Yep.